This video is going to be all about Jewelry Trends for 2024 and I'm going to talk about what is in and what is out. So there are a lot of great things that are in and there are just a few things that are out that I want to mention. So I hope you enjoy this video and I would love to know what your favorite jewelry trend is for 2024. And thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and also remember to love your neighbor and be kind. A personal favorite trend of mine right now is the retro and vintage trend. And although I don't have a lot of the ret real retro and vintage jewelry, which you probably might, which it's awesome if you do, they're creating some lookalikes and things that are easier to find that look like vintage and retro jewelry. So some of these I have found at Anthropology, and I actually bought a couple of pair and I've talked about the studs. I'm wearing them right now that I love and they come in a few different colors. But you also have some really cool teardrop earrings that they have done that look very vintage. And then some enamel earrings that I think are very cool, which is very retro to me. And then I have also found some brooches and I want to talk about brooches because that is a trend and I think it is very much part of this vintage and retro inspired look that's going on because we're seeing it in areas like shoes as well with sneakers. And so it's very common to see something like this go across many different categories. And so the brooches I think are so cool right now and you can find some really fun ones or dig into your jewelry box and pull out some of your cool vintage brooches because they are a trend. And then also pearls. So pearls are really big and I think chunkier pearls and really fun drop pearl earrings are very big right now and I've seen some chunky bracelets and these to me look very vintage and retro inspired. So I wanted to mention this one in case some of you have lots of these in your jewelry box. Definitely pull them out and start wearing them in 2024. A very big trend right now in jewelry is to be big and bold with your jewelry. Whether you are wearing actual big bold jewelry or you are creating more of a bold look with wearing several pieces of jewelry. And so you can do this either way. But Pinterest did predict this was going to happen. And I don't know if you've seen my Pinterest predictions video, but it was a fun one. If you want to check it out, I'll link it for you. But they predicted that big sculptural jewelry and larger than life accessories will be at the top of people's minds in 2024. And I do think that is true. And I'm seeing a lot of bold jewelry in stores. If you like chunkier jewelry and want to do that, there's collar necklaces that I have seen. And these are necklaces that are worn more on your collarbone and they are pretty big and bold. And I've seen chains, I've seen pearls and all kinds of necklaces and different materials that can create a bold look if you like wearing necklaces. And this means, in my opinion, that minimalistic jewelry is kind of going out. So all those dainty necklaces that we are wearing, which I still wear because um, I still love them, even if they're out of style, I'll still be wearing them. But I usually put another bold piece on with it if I have a minimalistic necklace on and so it still creates somewhat of a bold look if you know what I mean I'm still doing that trend in the earrings but maybe not my necklace because usually I don't like to do both but you absolutely could and if you want to create a bold look that would be a good way to do it but I will talk about some more bold ways of creating jewelry looks here in a minute with some of these other trends so hang tight and I hope you continue to watch I think a big part of the bold jewelry styles are your really bold cuffs and whether you decide to wear one or one on each arm or multiples on each arm I think that's totally up to you but the cuff is here to stay for a little while and the ones that I've been seeing are mostly metal and they don't have a lot more to them they might be hammered they might be more sleek uh, I have seen one that is enameled that I thought was really cool and I've also found pearl cuffs that are really cool but what I have not seen are a lot of the cuffs that have just one really large stone, which used to be a big trend. And I'm thinking that that's not quite what the trend is right now. It's more of your shiny metals and your pearls and the things that look a little bit more vintage, which I think the stone ones probably would too, but I just have not seen a lot of them. So let me know if you have and if you think the stone cuffs are a part of this trend. 
So I did mention that your more dainty necklaces are kind of going out of style, the minimalistic look, but what is in style is the layered look. And a lot of these layered looks are created with daintier, more minimal necklaces put together, which creates more of a statement. And you can now buy them in sets. It used to be you'd have to stack them yourself, but now you can buy them in sets or you can buy just a necklace that has multiple strands to it. And there are a lot of really pretty options out out there if you are interested and I know a lot of people have said they get tangled and things like that but if you buy one that's put together well and is just one necklace I think it's a lot easier than stacking your own but this is a fun trend if you're more minimalistic then this would be the way for you to go because it's somewhat minimalistic, but creates a bold statement. Another big layering trend to create a bolder statement is to stack your rings or stack some bracelets. And they don't have to be the cuff bracelets, but you can just stack beaded bracelets that are small or chain bracelets, whatever it is that you like, you can stack them as far up your arm as you want to. And stacking your rings the same way, you can put a ring on each finger if you want to, and it creates a very bold look. And that kind of takes the place of wearing a bigger piece of jewelry and you can get larger rings or larger bracelets and stack them as well so this trend is cool because you can just kind of create whatever look you want that suits your personality and that's exactly what I do because I'm not big into necklaces but I'm big into earrings and I love bold earrings but I also love rings and bracelets so I kind of play around with those and create my own look and I always have a stacked ring on my middle finger here I've got two that I love to wear and I've tried other rings around them and just haven't loved wearing that it's not as comfortable for me so that's what I do um, to to do this trend because I really do like it and I think it's great that you can customize it to your own personality the next trend I want to talk about are wristwatches, and this is a very big jewelry trend for 2024. And a lot of the watches that I've seen actually are metal and pretty and look like jewelry. And the thing that is out are your really large and in charge watches, which is kind of crazy since the big and bold trend is in. But you know, the minimalistic trend in some things is still around and in wristwatches, they are just so beautiful now. So you can find a nice wristwatch that looks like a jewelry piece. And what I got so excited about when I was searching for this trend was they are making the watch rings now again. And this is something I used to wear, I think in the 90s or the year 2000s. And it was one of my favorite trends. And I actually wanna get one of these. I think Fossil made one and there was another brand that made one. And I just think this is great. And I, I love watches, although mine's not as attractive. I do this to keep up with steps and heart rate and things like that. But the wristwatches, if you have a beautiful vintage wristwatch, I have seen some that have a very beautiful vintage look that are great that you can wear. And a lot of them are in gold and silver metals. And I've seen some that you can change the bezel um, on the watch, which is something we used to do years ago as well. That's a lot of fun and you can customize it to your outfit. So a wristwatch should be sh more thought of as a piece of jewelry right now, as opposed to just um, what I'm wearing to keep up with my time or, you know, the smartwatches that we're all wearing. That's not the trend, but definitely a piece of jewelry type watch that is beautiful. I do want to mention one trend that kind of ebbs and flows, it comes and goes, and that's your supersized hoops. And I really love supersized hoops. I love all hoops. I wear all different sizes and I wear them whether they're on trend or not. But I wanted to talk about this trend because it is a little bit different because the ones that I'm seeing now are more larger hoops that are a little bit thinner. So they're not big and chunky. They're just large in size. And so if you love hoops like I do, it's definitely a good time to buy them. And the reason why I talk Talk about trends a lot of times is if you love this th if you love this trend whether it's on trend or not if something you love to wear then this is definitely a good time to snatch them up because there will be a lot of them so definitely look for those supersized hoops if that is your earring of choice which a lot of times it is mine because there will be lots of fun choices so I have talked about this trend in a few of my other videos, so I want to touch on it just real quick. And you probably know what I'm going to say, but bows are very on trend right now. And in lots of different categories in your clothes and shoes and all the other accessories, and they're definitely big in jewelry. Whether you want small studs or larger studs or a necklace, 
it doesn't matter. Anything in a bow right now in any accessory is a big deal. So if you love bows, this is definitely the year for you. I have wanted to mention this trend in a few of my other videos for jewelry, but I just haven't. And now I want to because I have seen a lot of really fun options. And that's your shell jewelry. And I think summertime is a big time for shell jewelry anyway. But I've seen a lot of shell jewelry that is made out of metals. So you might have a big stud shell earring that's really cool or a small earring that has a pearl hanging from it. But there are lots of really fun options that you can find in shell jewelry, whether you want them out of metal or if you want original shells, because there's a lot of beautiful pieces that I have seen with actual real shells. And I do think this is a certain look, so it would need to go with certain things. But if you are more of that beachy type girl and that's how you dress and you live in a place like that then this is a very fun trend and you probably already have a ton of shell jewelry in your jewelry box this next trend I'm calling flower power because of course the big rosettes have been on trend for a while and the rosette choker necklaces you're going to see still they've been on trend for a few years now and but you're also going to see some really cute jewelry that's in metal that's in the shape of flowers and you'll find little ones and you'll find really big ones and then there's necklaces that you can find you know just little minimal drops that you can layer in with other necklaces that have flowers on them and tassel earrings that are kind of bold that i've seen that are really cool and I just I think this is a fun way to wear flowers if you don't want to wear a floral blouse or anything like that or a dress and it you know flowers are always big in the spring and summer and we're finding them in our jewelry and I just think a lot of the ones I've seen are really pretty so I wanted to mention this one for you. So I think this next trend kind of mixes minimalistic with a little bit more bold and that's your pendant necklaces because the one I, ones I've seen are either on a leather cord or some type of really thin cord and then you have this larger chunky pendant and so they can be short or long you have lots of choices but I definitely think the pendant necklace is back and it does look a little bit more raw as opposed to some of the metal pendants that we have seen in the past that are a little bit dressier so some of these are a little bit more casual and fun and you can just throw them on with a maxi dress or a fun little blouse and create a different kind of look and it's still a little bit bold but has a little bit of a minimalistic feel to it as well if that makes sense so this might be a good combination for some of you that just want a happy medium between the two these were some of my favorite trends that I have ever talked about in jewelry, and I would love to know which one is your favorite and if you loved all of them like I do. And so thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe and I will talk to you next time.